everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video so in today's video um soon as we are fast approaching 2024 so the end of 2023 and the start of 2024 and all that it brings i thought i would hop on here and do a happy new year vlog and just reflect on um, our year that's that's been which has been absolutely fantastic we have achieved a lot of goals ticked a lot of things off the list um, and had a lot of fun along the way and uh, i hope you've enjoyed coming along uh, for the journey with us i learned how to hitch up the horse float all by myself um, i can now reverse it into the shed when we get home and uh, so that has been a huge pat on the back um, yeah that was that was a big goal of mine so i can be independent i can take bella out on on our own and um, get out, out and about which we have done a lot we also joined a new riding club and met some new friends and uh, went along to our local dressage club and i've got some fun stuff in store um, already for january i've got two dressage competitions coming up and my goal for uh, 2024 is for bella and i she's shaking her head she don't even know what it is yet uh bella and i to get out and step up into the next level for our dressage so we're going to be um entering some tests uh not in january but maybe february we'll be entering some tests with some canter i did uh enter one for december um which had a little bit of canter in it it was still in the first level but it was like the next step before you step up into level two um, but unfortunately we had well over 100 mils of rain that weekend so it got cancelled which I was kind of pleased about because it would have been like a quagmire and it wouldn't have been fun getting ready in the rain um, so who would have thought in December in Australia we um, have had really wet wintry weather I've still got rugs on Belle and she's losing her summer coat already which is really sad um, but anyway I'm getting off the point and this I was kind of trying I always say that, don't I? Keep it a short vlog. <laughs> so I'm just going to do um, a bit of a voiceover over a little montage of our year, um, just to go back to the beginning. I'll also insert some stuff that um, I videoed and took some photos before. So I'll go back to January. And that was before I started my YouTube channel. Uh, I didn't know that that was going to be a goal of mine back at the start of the year. That just kind of um came along throughout the year i learned so much from other people on youtube i've got quite a few creators that i follow um quite a few particularly in england um and they're really inspiring because their weather over there they very rarely get great days they have a little moment of good time um, but generally they're riding in the dark and they're riding in the snow and ice at the moment um, so that's really inspirational and helps me to get off my butt and get out there because here in Australia we are I know I often whinge about the weather but we are ultimately pretty blessed with good weather um, so yeah the YouTube channel was like a little um, a, a little seed was planted in my brain that you know maybe I could have a go at this um, so yeah I decided to do it um, I turned 50 this year so I decided before I turn 50 <laughs> let's become a youtuber so that's been a lot of fun it's really inspiring it's got us out and about a lot more and I'm hoping in 2024 it will um, push me to uh, get past some anxieties that I have like I really want to go do a forest ride um, so that's on the goal list for 2024. Um, I was hoping maybe this week a friend of mine just, um, said that she might like to go out for a forest ride but the weather's not been great so um, that hasn't happened. I've had my nearly finished my week off. I've had a week off which has been just fabulous um, but I go back to work next week but that's okay. There'll be better days and um, I'll get to the forest and uh, I don't know why I'm so anxious about it. I think just taking her out somewhere where there's no I don't know, no control. <laughs> oh, I have control of her, I suppose, but like, yeah, if anything was to happen, it's like there's no fences and she could just run off and I could lose her. But anyway, that's worst case scenario and we don't need to be thinking about that, do we, Belle? <laughs> You're a good girl. Um, so anyway, I'll get on with my little montage. I'll do a little voiceover um, just to let, you know, so you know what you're looking at and I'll um, hopefully pop it to some music. That's another goal of mine. I want to start doing some better music on my vlogs. Um, 
Yeah, and I'll have probably a little chat at the end. So enjoy the montage. So January started with greasy heel or mud fever as some people call it and Bella had never had anything on her back legs before so she was not impressed. Then uh, we move on to February and washing and first time plaiting ready for a what we call in Australia a hack show where you go around and around the judge and um, then you come in and you do a workout or a show and um, the judge awards who she thinks is the best. As you can see here, Canter was, well, we're still working on Canter now, but back then uh, we had the banana Canter where she's completely flexed to the outside. But she did really well. This was her very first time in an arena like this, cantering around or trotting around with other horses coming up behind her. And she just took it all in her stride. We had a great day. She won quite a few ribbons and um, I got reserve champion rider. And then we moved on to dressage at our local dressage club, Adelaide Hills Dressage Club. So I think this was probably around March time. And um, yeah, our centre line was not great. <laughs> and she, yeah, it's really fun actually looking back, going back over all these videos and it's hard to pick out what to put into this little montage because we actually achieved quite a lot in um, 2023 and I'm so proud and so grateful to have had such a wonderful horse in Bella who's helped me gain my confidence. Um, she's such a pleasure to take out. I think I say that in every vlog and uh, yeah, just... Um, enjoying watching back on all these videos and just seeing how far we've come just in 12 months of consistent work and sometimes I get a little frustrated because the canter is taking its time in coming along but um, yeah when I look back on this and I think how even our trot was you know not rhythmical definitely not supple up above the bit look at that and now the trot is so much more consistent so it just gets better and better, doesn't it, the more work you put in. And here we are moving along. I think this was probably the next month. So Adelaide Hills um, runs their dressage days monthly, the second Sunday of the month. And look at that centre line. That is atrocious. And I wished I could have left um, Mum's commentary. So Mum's doing all my videoing even back here before the vlogging. I used to like to video my tests. Look at that hold right off the centre line. <laughs> and I think Mum, if I'd left the, the audio in, Mum's saying, oh, that's a terrible centre line. Look at that hold. <laughs> but yes, and we also didn't video. I didn't know about videoing um, in landscape or portrait. So these first few ones are not done in the correct fashion but um, I've learnt a lot as well through doing the vlogging and all the videoing. So you can see here that there is a bit of improvement and we're still above the bit, still resisting. But the rhythm is getting better and she's moving forward better. So here I think this is the June competition and this test, when I came out of this test, mum actually said she had to keep checking that she was videoing the right horse because um, Bella, the improvement was just leaps and bounds. She was so much more supple, um, holding herself in the frame, moving forward nicely and in the June competition is the first time we cracked. 70% in the first test we actually got 71% and in our second test we did that day we got 69 so so close to getting another 70 and we came first in I think we came first in both tests or it might have been first in one second in the other but this was a very happy day Then in April, we didn't do any dressage because we were lambing and it was crazy. We were out 
chasing off foxes for the month and we, I had a few lambs to deliver. This was one I delivered. I got my first two rosettes. That was exciting. Here we are with a few more ribbons. And then we did some Liberty training, which was very interesting and quite a bit of groundwork, which has been very fruitful and um, helped out a lot. We then went to riding club and had lots of lessons at riding club. Colm had a bit of a spa day. And then he also, I captured him doing some cheeky antics that he's known for. Bella, we had some bucking and I realized that we needed a new saddle. Then I turned 50. And this is a photo of me and my sister and my mum. Then we got the new saddle and ventured off to Morford Vale Riding Club where I grew up riding. And we got champion on this day, champion of our level. And I had a good support crew. Andrew came along to watch and um, a lot of the family were there. And of course, mum was doing my videoing. So thank you again, mum. We also did a lot at Pony Club. This is just a little shot of Pony Club. I played around with my phone and was taking some great photos. We also got some black Angus steers to raise. And this is our friendly pet cow bucket. He features quite a bit in the vlogs. And also the crazy Kelpie Kira playing with her toy. Now she's had this toy since she was a puppy, so it's a bit worse for wear, but she absolutely adores it. So this is Kira just being her cheeky self having some fun and I hope you all have a happy new year. Hope you enjoyed our recap of 2023. I'm so looking forward to 2024 and all that it brings. Um, and yeah, just setting new goals. I don't call them New Year's resolutions because I think they never work, but you know, just new goals, having things to aim for. I like to stay motivated and I find by, you know, entering events or giving yourself a challenge, helps keep you motivated um, to reach that you know you take little small steps to get there so um, until I see you again stay safe stay well remember to enjoy the little things in life bye for now